our longest trusted English newspaper since 1898. Now available digitally. Computer, order the Manila Times Digital Edition. Subscribed. Get the Manila Times Digital Edition for less than 2 pesos and 50 centavos per day when you sign up for one year. The Manila Times, new source of choice, trusted since 1898. Greetings! Thank you for lending an ear to the Voice of the Times for Monday, June 13, 2022. For today's editorial, Cebu's order on face masks should prompt IATF review. When Cebu province issued an executive order relaxing rules on the wearing of face masks, local and national authorities reacted quickly to oppose it. But while flawed, the order should prompt a national review of the health protocols on COVID-19. Perhaps, there ought to be discussion about whether the body that is responsible for crafting those measures, the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases or the IATF EID, is responsive enough. In a press conference, Cebu Governor Gwendolyn Garcia clarified that she did not scuttle the requirement to wear face masks when she issued Executive Order 16 on June 8, 2022. It merely made the wearing of face masks optional in well-ventilated areas and open spaces. It was an apparent attempt to boost tourism, a vital sector for the province. We are not saying do not use face masks. It is your choice. Those that would wish to breathe in pure oxygen, the more beneficial sea air, then please, let's not bring the wearing of face masks to ridiculous levels, Garcia said. The mayor of Cebu City, however, announced that he would defy the governor's executive order, and Secretary Eduardo Año of the Department of Interior and Local Government said the provincial order was void and that the IATF EID was the only body authorized to set health guidelines regarding the pandemic. As expected, some people are confused about which order to follow. Anya stressed that people, especially the old and those with comorbidities, are susceptible to COVID-19. Our adherence to minimum public health standards, or MPHS, is the key to defeating this pandemic. The wearing of face masks, together with vaccination and boosters, have helped keep our COVID-19 case counts low despite the detection of new subvariants. Scientific evidence worldwide proves that the use of face masks reduces the transmission not only of COVID-19, but also of other infectious and respiratory diseases, including monkeypox, should it reach our country. The Secretary makes a good argument, especially in saying policies should follow science. But the Cebu governor also has a point that policies need to be practical and conducive to economic well-being. Instead of dismissing her order outright, the national government should reflect on whether the task force can adjust rapidly to changing situations. Apparently for Cebu, that task force is too slow in helping revive a key industry. Obviously, the health situation is not the same across the Philippines. Wearing a face mask at the beach or while hiking on a mountain trail does seem silly, particularly when few other people are around. It may be better for the IATF EID to allow local governments and city health officials to set the appropriate health policies for their respective areas. To be clear, we believe that wearing a face mask helps fend off COVID-19, but there are valid reasons for supporting a further easing of some health measures. For instance, no notable spike in COVID-19 cases was seen after the recent campaign and election day. That was more than a month ago. Also, restaurants have been operating at full capacity and naturally, patrons take off their masks to eat. This also happens at in-person events in hotels and other similar venues where food is served. And based on observation, few of those establishments seem concerned about maintaining a healthy distance among those in attendance. In other countries, governments have adopted mask policies similar to what Garcia had ordered. In some European countries, for instance, face masks are required while indoors and optional when outside. Of course, the Philippines should not merely mimic what other countries are doing. Wearing face masks should still be required while on public transportation and in public areas where physical distancing is not possible or practical. Additionally, employers should be more lenient about allowing their employees to work from home, particularly in situations where that arrangement can produce the results needed. After two years of the pandemic, the authorities should know better how to balance health measures and policies needed for economic recovery. And as said before in this space, people should learn how to live with COVID-19. And that's the editorial for Monday, June 13, 2022. For more news and information, get a copy of the Manila Times on print. Subscribe to its digital edition or log on to www.manilatimes.net. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram and listen to the Voice of the Times.